Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Dr. Brickenstein here, aka Ken Turner. So in today's mock video, I'm going to be making a Cross the Spider-Verse mock. Now this is based off something I saw online, much like the all-black Disney castle, but I'm going to modify it a bit just to make it more of my own. To my right, I have the popcorn tin from Across the Spider-Verse. So there's Spider-Gwen and Miles on the bucket. So let's take a look at some of the inspiration for this mock. So this is by the Mark Studios underscore 84, and he titles this mock, I Am The Spot. So you can see this big overview of the whole mock with Spider-Man 2099 and Scarlet Spider, Spider-Gwen and Peter B. Parker and some variants behind them. And then there's Miles Morales who has webbed the horse and is catching a ride out of there. And then we have this giant spot character with all these circular tile pieces. And then if we scroll through some of the close-ups, you'll see Spider-Man 29 coming out of the portal. There's the Scarlet Spider. There's the spot as a giant character. So you can pretty much get the idea. But what I'm going to do with mine is create two portals. So one is going to have a bunch of variants coming out of it. And then another portal will have basically the Into the Spider-Verse characters coming out of it to help Miles escape. And then we'll have the, a giant spot character and a spot figure actually as well. So I have all the pieces right here to create the mock. And then on this white base plate, I have like an army of Spider-Men. Some are from sets, some I've, I made of my own creation. And then we have the Into the Spider-Verse characters right at the front there. So I'll go through all these Spider-Man characters. We'll do the build. And then at the end, I'll do a review of the whole mock. And then this white box is uh, a bunch of Spider-Man goodies that I'll show with all the characters. So a lot of good stuff in that one as well. So without further ado, let's get into the Spider-Verse. Alright, so let's go through the Spider-Man minifigures that I have. So some of these you've seen in the previous video. So I'll just take these off as I go. So we have Spider-Ham, and then I gave him a hot dog. Because I mentioned I was going to give them all props, so this one at least has one now. And then we have Spider-Gwen. Now I did give her... She had some spider webs, so I'll probably use this in the mock. There's Spider-Gwen. And then we have Miles Morales in the black suit. And he's shooting out some spider webs. And then we have original suit Miles from Into the Spider-Verse with the hood and gray pants. Then here's the finished Peter B. Parker with hair and stubble and gray jogging pants. And now he has a milkshake in hand, which I thought was appropriate for him. But there's Peter B. Parker. I think it looks really nice. Then we have Spider-Man 2099. He'll be front and center in this mock. And then we have the finished Penny Parker. Now the head that I wanted didn't come in yet, so this is just a temporary head. But the arms, the torso, and the legs are all the final ones. And then she has the hair that's really nice. And then here's Spider-Man Noir. And then I gave him a magnifying glass. I thought that would be a really nice prop for him. And we'll start over here. So we have the venomized Spider-Ham. I think his name is Pork Grind. I can't remember. I thought it would be funny to add him. And we have a bunch of Miles Morales from some random sets. So there's here's Miles Morales with the black suit and the red hands. I think this one is from a junior set. So he has the white and blue symbol with black suit, really big eyes, and the short legs. But I can also give him the normal legs if I wanted to. And we have this one with the sort of space helmet or underwater sea helmet. This is another one from that Spider-Man and Friends show. So he has the yellow symbol in the front, black hands, and all red suit. Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. So this is from the What If CMFs. He has printed legs, and they're also printed on the sides. And then he has the Doctor Strange cape and collar. It looks really nice. Also printing on the arms as well. And then he also actually came with... He also has, comes with a Peter Parker head, so I can also put that instead if I wanted to. Then we have the black and white suited spider girl. And we have a red suited spider girl. Also comes with its own spider web. And we have a Peter Parker with the mask pulled up. And he's holding a camera. And he's in one of his early costumes. Here is Spider Punk that I customized. So he has that mohawk, 
the leather jacket and pants. And then I took out the black arms and replaced them with Spider-Man arms. And then he has a rockin' guitar. So he's ready to go. And then here's my custom Spider-Man India. So this torso is from a Spider-Man Junior set. The arms are from Monkey Kid. I got these purple hands and this these leg with the, this wrap that I thought worked pretty well. And then this hair piece. So there's Spider-Man India. Here is the Scarlet Spider with this blue hoodie and raging biceps. Here we have another Peter Parker. You can see a bit of his suit and the mask pulled up and he's holding a prop with it, which is a Daily Bugle newspaper. It says Spider-Man finally unmasked. I'll see if I can put him in the mock as well. Then we have an Iron Spider-Man and then he has those four gold pearl arms. I like those. So there's Iron Spider-Man. Then we have Spider-Man with the black and red suit with large gold spider. He has gold knee trim. And you can see the back there. And then on the back, you can see another gold spider symbol. And then this one is the stealth big time suit Spider-Man. You can see those neon green colors. And on the back, the neon green spider symbol. And on the back here, we have Spider-Man with his bright light orange letter jacket. And then in his hand, he's holding what I think is a newspaper. It says the true identity of Spider-Man. And he has blue legs and the spider mask on. And on the back, it says Spider-Man. He looks pretty nice. And then we have this black and red suited Spider-Man. I think this is from No Way Home. And we have a dark blue and red suited Spider-Man. This is another Tom Holland Spider-Man minifigure. And then we have the Night Monkey, which was seen in Far From Home. So he has a gray suit and black mask. We have the black and gold Spider-Man suit from No Way Home. Looks really nice. I have a bunch of just parts for Spider-Man. And there's some generic ones that I'll probably use if I make some more custom ones. In the back I have some Venoms. I'm planning on making at least one Spider-Man symbiote suit uh, minifigure to include in this mock. And then let's go through some of the custom ones I made myself. So from hidden side I have two uh, white hooded Spider-Man. I exchanged the arms on this one because it had red arms before so it looks more Spider-Man now. And then put a Spider-Man head. This one I put in a Spider-Man head pretty much and then gave him a camera. So these two are like twins. And then we have Arctic suit Spider-Man. His color schemes were too good not to make him a Spider-Man. Food vendor Spider-Man. I probably have to give him some sort of prop I really like how this hat looks on him. And then we have Santa Claus Spider-Man with the sack and Santa hat. This one is pretty easy to make. And then we have British Spider-Man with the bowler hat, umbrella, and British flag vest with his blue suit and black gloves. And then we have Aqua Spider-Man or Scuba Spider-Man. He has the oxygen tank and mask and gray gloves with fins. And then we have some Ninjago type Spider-Man. So here's Ninja Spider-Man number one. I think I just put some new arms and gave him a spider head. And we have a couple more Ninja Spider-Man. This one has the bandana wrap around his mouth. This one has some shoulder armor. And then this one has a, some quivers on his back. And they have two different types of hats. This one I was going to make into a pirate Spider-Man, so let's do that now, since I forgot about this one. If I can find a feather for his hat, I'll add that, but here's pretty much pirate Spider-Man. And then in the back here, I have Web Slinger. So he's the cowboy Spider-Man. Now the only thing missing is his poncho. I do have this sort of tattered cape. I could probably maybe add and that would suffice for now. But he has his horse, his two guns, his red bandana, and brown hat. So that's pretty much it for those Spider-Man. Let's put that aside. So let's get to the box. 
So this box came from Firestar Toys. So there's a bunch of Spider-Man parts and minifigures that are custom. So let's take a look. So here's some parts. We'll take a look in a second. So the first one we have is the Spot. So he comes with a bagel and a portal. He looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, looking forward to adding him to the mock. And then we have Policeman Spider-Man. So he's a walkie-talkie, some handcuffs, a big black mustache, and some red hands and mask. And we have early spider suit, Tom Holland, Spider-Man. So he has sort of that hoodie and blue pants and that early mask. It looks really nice. And then we have a couple of, I believe, 67 Spider-Man. So there was a two-pack combo. So this is the first, and this is the other one, which is the exact same character. If you remember the movie, he made a little cameo appearance. So looking forward to adding him to the mock as well. So let's look at some of the things that came in here. So we have a photograph of Spider-Man 67. We have a camera and on the lens it says your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Very nice. So we have some black mask Spider-Man heads. These are for the symbiote Spider-Man. These are all slightly different to each other. Some have bigger eyes. So you can see the slight difference in each one. So if I grab, let's say I grab this one and grab the Spider-Man. There, I basically have symbiote suited Spider-Man. So it'll be added to the mock. So we have a, a mug for Doctor Strange. It says, oh, for Fox sake. This mug is from No Way Home. Then we have the three-eyed Doctor Strange. I can change out the head for that Gargantos showdown set. We have a Spider-Man tile, another Spider-Man bagel, and then we have a Scarlet Spider head. And then here are some parts, some translucent clear elements, a couple portals, and the spots base plate as well. So that pretty much covers all these Spider-Man characters. So let's get to the build.
So here's the final build for the Across the Spider-Verse mock. So we have the two portals, the giant spot character, we have the spot minifigure up top there, then we have Gwen's team on this side, and then Spider-Man 2099 and all the Spider-Man variants on this side, and they're going after Miles Morales, which is he's right there in the front. So let's get in close and look at all the details. So you can see Miles right there trying to get away, and then you can see a bunch of the Spider-Man variants trying to catch up. And then we have Spider-Man 2099 right in the middle here. And he's getting a little assist from Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. Right behind him is the Santa Spider-Man, Spider-Man 67. So let's take a look at these portals. So these portals were made with these two by four orange tiles that were that go all the way around to create this hexagon shape. And then in the back, they're just clipped on with these yellow one by twos. And then around the portals, you'll see some circular tiles in pink, blue, purple, white, and black. See one of the spider drones right here as well. And if we look at the other side, Gwen's team, you can see this portal also has all those circular tiles so you can just place them almost like on top of each other create that Kirby look that they did for the movie and if we get to the spot you can see his hand is over top the portal there and his other hand is here and then you can see his body and his head and it's surrounded by these sort of black circular tiles and other types of black pieces and parts to create the portal effect and then on top we have the custom fire start toys the spot minifigure he's holding a bagel and a portal so let's look at this at some different views so let's look at a three quarter so if we get down low you can really see miles taking off shooting his web and all the spider variants after him try to get as many in the air as well so they're not just all on the base plate i use a lot of these clear translucent elements to do that and then also some of these i want to turn in so they're not all facing forward. So I put them on these one by one white pieces and then you can just rotate them sort of like this. And then it sort of curves in a little more. Okay, let's look at a profile view of it. This is a nice view too, because you can see the sort of shape, the triangular shape it's taking and Miles sort of stands out amongst it, popping out. And if we go to the three quarter back, you'll see some of the clips I used to attach all those orange pieces and then those translucent pieces to get some characters in the air. If we go around to the back, you'll see some of the yellow circular tiles that I placed around the spots portal. And then he's on this big translucent structure I made. You can see the hand is attached with this translucent clear piece. If we go to the three quarter back on this side, you can see spider punk just attached with this clip here. You see the structure here for this portal had to be specially made for this portal because it gets pretty heavy so it had to be pushed down into this base plate. And if we see it from this profile view, you see spider Gwen's team going after Miles to try to help him escape. And if we get to this three quarter view, something like this, you'll see really nice pose for Miles and Gwen in the air shooting her spider web. And I think the spot looks really menacing up here. If we go back to the front, I tried to divide all the variants so they don't go over too much on the spider Gwen side. Nice little detail, I had Peter Parker up here taking a picture of the whole event. You can see inside the portal is that symbiote Spider-Man, that iron armor Spider-Man, and the hot dog vendor Spider-Man up there. On those translucent pieces, I have elevated Scarlet Spider. You can see the web slinger on his horse, shooting his guns in the air. You can especially see those uh, action poses with Spider-Man 2099 and Santa Claus Spider-Man. So that's pretty much it for the build. Hope you liked it. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. Where would you improve it? Let me know what kind of spider variants you would have added to this uh, mock. Also, I think I'm going to be adding somewhere down the line, maybe like a the SPDR bot for Penny Parker. I also don't have Spider Bite that I'll eventually add here somewhere. Stay tuned for more mocks coming up. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.